I'm going to attempt to rebuild every Minecraft biome, including the new 1.19 mangrove swamp and deep dark, which I'm visiting for the first time. Oh no! Thank you to Sandiction for the inspiration on this one. This is going to take a while because, well, I need to build 33 different biomes. And I'm pretty sure where we have lots of space to just dig into a wall is right over there. Paste two and let's go. What is that? All right, so we've got 33 rooms between two floors and now we need glass blocks for every single one of them. Let's be on our way to smelt this. Okay. I don't have any coal. I don't want to go look for coal because that's just an... Uh, I guess I'm just going to have to build a whole bamboo farm. But at least we've now got fuel coming in to the Minecraft M Minecraft with Hopper. It's time to get started on the rooms. Quick disclaimer, I'm not doing every single biome that exists. Example, I'm not building both jungle and jungle edge. They are going to be instead one room. The first materials we actually need are for the backgrounds of all our overworld biomes, where we are going to try and replicate the sky on the walls. So for concrete, I need lots of sand, which we already have, and I need a lot of gravel. This gravel hill alone took me like 30 minutes to find, so like, please subscribe. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna need a lot more concrete than what I have right now. That doesn't look too bad, I'd like to think. And our first biome is going to be not a plains biome because that is just actual little oak forest. I like it. Looks pretty nice. Now, what do we do about the lighting situation? One of the things I can think of is maybe doing a glowstone pattern like this. So, uh, there we are with some glowstone that's nicely just lighting the whole thing up, which means yet another block that I'm going to need to collect for all of these biomes. Uh, I'm making this so much more difficult for myself. Up next, I want to do a desert and I don't have any cactus. Let me pick up some dead bushes while I'm at it as well. I'll grab a little bit of red sand as well to see if we can make it look a bit more interesting. Now it's time to move on to some more fun stuff. We're gonna be doing a crimson forest biome right here. So get some of these crimson roots, some crimson fungus, and what is this, warped fungus? Get some warped fungus as well. There's a fair few blocks we need to get. I'm not gonna mention them all. Put a tree right there. We'll have some weeping vines hanging down. More of these up here. We might make this a little more mountainy though. Hang on. Kind of like that. Oh, I forgot to add the shroom lights. Um, there. One at the back here. I might put one just there. Cover this up. And with that, the crimson forest biome is complete as well. We now have three. And now for even more variety here, we are going to do the main end island. <sighs> this project is going to take days. So there's that base there, and it might look a little weird now, but just hang on. Give me a second. We need black concrete for the edges. Back at it again with the concrete mining. We need some obsidian for a pillar. What if I make an end crystal? Ooh, that could be cool. Boom. And I'm also going to take this dragon head. Add the dragon egg there, maybe. Then add the dragon head here. And then an end crystal... There we go. Let me just make sure not to hit the end crystal. Don't worry, these glass borders will be gone soon. You're probably actually seeing the nice versions in the replay clips. And we are already out of light blue concrete. <laughs> okay. Now I'm missing a piece of glowstone. 
It just never ends. It, ne it never ends. <laughs> there. The birch biome is now also complete. Now what we've got on this side is just a regular Minecraft cave. Oh my god, you know it would be funny if I just did this? <laughs> god, I don't know why I did that, it's not that funny. Now, see, this one's kind of plain and it does really blend in with this whole thing. But once we decorate this hole, it'll be fine. And there's a little Easter egg here. I went for the classic Minecraft dead end cave where you go expecting to find something, but you find nothing. So, uh, the dreaded dead end. Let's move on to the next two. One of them being the end islands, which, well, I need to do the wall again. All right, so we've got a little bit of an island there. Add another one here. This room is going to be really simple. And then, you know what? To add a little bit of realism to it, let's add a dirt block or two. That's what we all do, right? We bridge across these small islands when we get there for the first time. There we go. We're getting quite a bit done. We've got almost two lots done. We need one more for eight, which is the Soul Sand Valley. If you take a look when you're actually in the area itself, the surrounding fog turns kind of like this weird cyan blue kind of thing. I'm very glad I have some terracotta right now. Soul Sand Valleys do tend to be pretty hilly, don't they? And then we'll add some Soul Sand into the middle of that. And done. Okay, Soul Sand Valley complete as well. We've got some bones, some torches. Cool. This place is starting to look really nice now that I think about it. All right, I think I want this top floor like just finished. So let me just speed through this, dude. Let's go. The first one being a giant tiger. So this does look a little bit better if you understand what I'm going for here. These trees are so big that they actually just go through the roof. So yeah, I'm kind of going for that. <laughs> The next biome will be the Badlands biome. I like that, that's cool. Next biome is the Warped Forest. Then we've got the Nether Wastes. We've got some lava, a little bit of glowstone. Hopefully that doesn't reach the wood. I forget how fire mechanics work, but... Which reminds me, I also need to do it to this biome here. So that is the nether waste biome complete as well, and we now need to do the jungle biome. I'm calling this one Spiky Cave, because why not? We've also got Basalt Delta. And this one here has actually just reminded me that I can add a little something like that in here, in the Soul Sand Valley. Yeah, that, that makes it look a little bit more full. Look at us go. Also, here, we're gonna add an ancient debris piece somewhere. Uh, matter of fact, let me just go do that right now. This could end up taking me like 30 minutes, but I guess it's worth the risk, I think. Okay. I've entered the headspace of putting a piece of soul sand down and pretending like it's ancient debris. I think we want to put it like on display, right? Like right here. Bang. And last but not least, the end city biome. Now this one requires a little bit of adventuring from us. So I guess we're going to go collect some blocks, some shulkers, things like that. Like some of this endstone brick, the glass as well, actually. So we've got all these biomes complete. Let's just quickly decorate all of this. Wait, this looks kind of bland. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And now it's time for the punchline of the the tunnel the video the it's time for the punchline okay basically walking no i'm putting these rooms on display by sticking a rail track in the middle where we can ride along and look at one side down to the very end and then come back looking at the other side And now that that is all done as well, including this really cool looking painting wall kind of thing, I need to get all these biomes done before we move on to the big final one, the deep dark. The first one is dark oak and lucky we can just take inspiration from 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you find pumpkins in these biomes fairly often, so I might include some of these as well. The next biome we need to work on is the Lush Cave. What if I just put some drip leaf down here, right? And I just... Yeah, there we go. Gets rid of, like, almost all the work I need to do. <laughs> Glowberries here and there. Get a nice spore blossom right there. And there's a last couple details. So we finished our first two biomes, and as you can see, there is quite a long way to go. We've got a lot of room, so let's just get through some of these quickly. First one being over here, this is the Nether Fortress biome. Now I know I already did the Nether Waste, but I thought I'd give the Nether Fortress one of its own dedicated ones because it's cool. What I also thought would be cool is to get a Wither Skeleton head and put it on display. This was not cool, actually, it was quite the opposite. Oh, why did I... <laughs> Five of them, surely. I get one skull out of these guys, come on. All that for me to literally just go ahead and do this. <laughs> After that, I'm going for the polar opposite and making an ocean room of the warm variety. We've even got some remnants of a shipwreck in the back as well as lots of tropical fish. Yo, what are you doing? Hey, no! Why would you do that? What happened? Next up, we've actually got a piglin bastion. Now, I know this isn't a biome, but I just felt like including it anyway, similar to the nether fortress. I just think it'll be a cool addition. The next biome is a mineshaft of sorts. Again, it's not a biome, but just come on. And here we are. I wasn't actually sure about this one at first, but I'm glad I went with the deep slate. I love how this turned out. We've got the little spider spawner vibe back there. We've got the chest minecart thing. This is cool. Oh my goodness, dude. Next up, we've got a snowy spruce and an amethyst biome, both of which for I need to collect materials for... Uh... Maybe we'll make a little ice river as well. I'm not sure if these will melt. And of course, we've got some snow. Now for the amethyst, I will collect amethyst. This one's gonna look pretty good. Okay, dude. And now for the snowy spruce, put some snow down. Oh, Obviously. Oh my. Now, will this campfire melt the ice? We are halfway with the bottom floor. You heard that right. We've only got a few more to go before we go adventuring for the difficult ones. So let's do it. We've got a mountain biome where I'm trying to replicate some sort of clouds on the floor. A fun beach biome. This is meant to be a beach ball. Uh, <laughs> an acacia one, which unfortunately isn't yellow enough. A stony shore one, which I actually think turned out pretty cool. We've also got ice spikes and a tall birch biome. I thought it'd be hilarious to have this single tree going so high that you can't even see the leaves. <laughs> So we've got almost every biome complete apart from the last three. We've got the mangrove swamp, deep dark, and mushroom fields. Finding these blocks could actually take me hours. Why am I doing this? I should just use terracotta. I'm thinking going out into the ocean like this would probably be the smartest thing to do because that's when you usually find mushroom biomes, right? However, despite my greatest efforts, what I first found was... Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait a second. Is that a... I mean, I'd be happier if I found a mushroom biome, but this is okay, I guess. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Take heaps of these leaves as well. Oh, that sound is not nice. Is this the... This is the woodland... Ma I've just found the woodland mansion. 
This counts as a mushroom biome, right? All of these. What is this swamp? W one tree. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping it would take longer so that I could, you know, be like, oh, it took me two hours to find this, but okay. Now give me this mycelium. Take some of this as well. Some mushrooms. Some of the other one. Yep, that's it. That's all we came for. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And it has just hit me how much more difficult finding the deep dark is going to be. Dude, wow. Give me some more land. Am I flying further out from base? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, here's a cave. Here's a cave. Oh, oh, ow. Cave after cave after cave. Also somehow circling back to the mushroom islands. I, I don't know how I did that. My light was almost broken and I don't really want to risk just midair not working. I'm not. My brain's not working. Eventually, we run into some skulk. I don't like that color. Dude, that's freaky. I'm just here to get blocks. I'm just here to get blocks. <sighs> I want to collect some more of this skulk vein that's all around the place. Nope. That's not what you want to- that's not- that's not what I want. So, can I just break this? Is that a thing? Is there another one? There's another one somewhere. T this is not good. That's it, right? I've just spawned him. Okay, yeah, you know what? You do you. I need more skulk itself. A couple more catalysts, maybe. Okay, bud, do you wanna... Are you gonna... Are you borrowing back in? All right, great. Oh, wow. Okay, the hoe breaks uh, this much, much quicker. I don't, well, I don't know what I've been doing this whole time. This bat is a threat to my existence, dude. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this dude is really angry at, I think, probably the bat. Yep. Can, like, I'm just trying to build some biomes, man. Okay, I've made it to the chest without making any noise. It. The comments are gonna love this one. You're joking, right? Is that what all the other chests are like as well? Uh, you know what? See you later, diamonds. Because I need some of these here. I am over 10,000 blocks away. Nice. So all that is left to do now is build the mushroom biome. That looks pretty good. Unfortunately, there's not much more you can really do with that. That's what the islands look like. Should have brought a cow or something. We've got the mangrove swamp biome. So there's that, and I've decided to leave this one very, like, kind of raw and muddy and dark and gloomy. Make it look a little bit more natural. We've got some trees going into the wall as well and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And last, but definitely not least, the deep, dark biome. This one actually took about 30 minutes, believe it or not. And, of course, finished the entrance. And I've actually also just at... I've done all these different blocks to like kind of signal that you're going into a museum of all different biomes and stuff and it's really cool.